Oh, let's go do it again. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, so um, which one for my new job? With the, I'll go with the black. The black's yeah. good. Yeah, okay. Very corporate okay. business stuff. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And hi, I'm hi. sorry. <laughs> did you take your pills this morning? I did, I did. Okay. You excited about your first day? Yeah. I don't know anything about publishing. So? But... You didn't know anything about the hotel business, and now look what you know. That's because I had you as a teacher. It's true, I am wonderful. She's... You know what, this is good, this is good. It's good for people to see that we're mm -hmm. not just together, because you know, our lives got a little tangled up. Yeah. We're together because we choose to be. Well, no, it's good for us to see too, you know. Because I know I choose you. I choose you too. And I also choose for you not to be late on your first day. Okay. All right, good. What's on your agenda today? My day is about Emma. I'm going to sit her down when she gets home from school and I'm going to tell her about us. Emma's just a little girl. Is she ready for this? Are you? Yes. I am, but she's going to have a lot of questions. And, you know, how are we going to answer them? Well, I, Emma's, Emma's a bright and loving kid. If we can't explain it to her, how can we hope to explain it to anybody else? You're right. And we'll just tell her that she actually really does have two mommies. You want to rehearse something? Or? Um, no, I, I think I'm just going to uh, speak from the heart. Okay, good. I will, too. You're going to be at work. Well, we can wait. Until after I get home. I think this is um, something that I should probably do myself. You don't want me to be there? I just think that she should hear it from me first, and then we'll, we'll sit her down together and we'll talk to her. And you're right. This is a conversation that you should have with your daughter. So I'll call you. Okay, you come by after work. Have a great first day. Okay. Um, I think I'm a little nervous. I have some butterflies. <laughs> You're going to be great. You're going to be great. You are. With Emma, you are going to figure out exactly what to say to her. Everything's going to be fine. Emma loves Natalia, right? Hey! Hey, come here. I'm so glad you're home. I want to talk to you. Hi, Miss Spencer. Hi, Shannon. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Um, everything okay? Emma had a rough day. I just want to explain what happened in case she seems not like herself tonight. I'm a little surprised. She loves camp. I know. She's made so many friends. She participates. I look forward to seeing her every day. And she has three other girls she plays with every day. Right. Madeline, Charlotte, and Nikki. Right. Yeah. They're a nice group. Well, yesterday, they decided they were all going to wear pink t-shirts today. Uh-huh. Emma forgot. She got there, she was really upset that all of her friends were wearing pink shirts and she wasn't. Oh, well, I wish somebody had told me I would have come over with a pink t-shirt. She has about 20 of them. She told me not to call you. I, she was out of sorts all day. About a shirt? I don't really understand. That, that isn't like Emma. You, you know what it is? Kids like to be part of the group. Normal, whatever that is. They don't like to be different. Today, Emma felt different, like she was an outsider. It upset her. I just want to let you know. <laughs> She'll be fine tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is one of my newest authors. She wrote a book called only dogs belong on their backs. <laughs> it's about dating. It's great. Oh. Actually, I, I want to give her a, a luncheon. I want to throw something for her. I just don't know how to promote it. Um, well, what about contacting a local animal shelter? You know, putting dogs up for adoption. Be like doing a public service, but still getting the name of the book out there. Ooh, tie-in. I like that. Yeah. Gives us TV coverage, a lot of press. That's very, very, very good. You're natural at this. Olivia was a fool to let you go. <laughs> Why did she? Emma, we both decided that it was just for the best. You know, we needed some time apart. Time apart? Mm -hmm. 
Um, for press materials, how about uh, a stand up with the author and one of the homeless dogs? Time apart. That that sounds like you were very close. Well, you still are. You know, when I ran into you and Olivia at the spa, there were a, a lot of rumors circulating. They were true, weren't they? Oh my gosh, why didn't I see this before? I cannot believe it. Emma's two mommies are a couple. Do you want to take this job off her back? What, are you kidding me? No. I want to throw you a luncheon, you and Olivia. You can't be serious. You're not shocked, you're, you're not, not upset. That you chose Olivia over me? A little upset. Oh, stop it. Do you know how rare it is to find anybody to love? We're here for a very short time. I gotta tell you, next time, if I am lucky enough to find that, I'm gonna grab it with both hands and I'm gonna scream it to the world. Just like you're gonna do at our luncheon. No, no I, th I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's the right way to do this. You get it out once, you deal with it once. Otherwise, people are gonna be whispering about this for weeks, months, maybe years. No, I can't, I can't believe I'm talking about this right now. Yeah, no, you, you can trust me, you can trust me. All right, I know what you've heard about me, that Blake's blabbermouth and I can't keep a secret, but I'm a really good friend. And when I say you can trust me, I mean it. Let's figure out a date. Let's just, like, get a tentative date. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I mean it. I can't. I can't do that. I, I really appreciate the offer, but there has got to be another way. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Rough day can't camp, Jelly Bean? Kind of. Yeah, come here. Hop up here. Hop up. Okay. Look, I know that you want to look like all your friends and be like all your friends, and that's that's normal. But um, the most important thing, Emma, is that you are who you are, because that's perfect. Even if that means you might be a little different than others. Difference, difference, fine. I don't want to be different. When you're different, kids treat you like you're weird. What color t-shirt did you want to wear tomorrow? I'll just put it right here. Green. Green. Green it is. You feel like a snack from downstairs? Yes, please. All right, then. Go get something. Wait, you wanted to talk about something? Not today. It doesn't work now. It does work, but it's harder than hell. It burned the moussaka. I thought, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'll let some fresh air in. Hi, I see books. I, uh, some of Blake's clients. Yeah. How'd it go? <clears throat> um, she knows. Blake knows. I know. I'm, I was re really worried too, but she promised that she would not say anything until you know we were ready. Yeah, sweetheart. I think it's going to be in the eleven o'clock news. But it shouldn't matter, though, right? I mean, you had your talk with Emma today. So, how did it go? Oh, uh, well, she came home and she was tired and she was like a lot of sorts. And I just, I every thing that came out of my mouth, it just sort of came out wrong. It didn't go well. I chickened. I'm a little concerned about this because I don't want Emma to find out the same way that Rafe did, you know, without warning. I know that Blake
take those? It's, no, I'm sorry. If she tell one person. It's just it may tell over everything. town in a few days. <sighs> but you know what? Even if she does keep her promise, we have to figure out a way to be together without having to justify things to people or explain everything to everyone. What about this? What if we declare our independence and, and without speeches and anything fancy, what if we go to the Bauer barbecue? Together, like together, together. Together, together. Is that okay? I love that. <laughs> it's a date. Yeah, and then, well, you know, we. We would sit Emma down before the barbecue and, and explain We'll things. sit her down and we'll explain everything together. Yeah. So, is it settled? Yeah. <laughs> Fourth of July, Independence Day. I'm sorry, the smoke is really getting yeah. to me. I'm, I'm, give me one second, I'll be right back, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, ouch. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, a favor and get us a big piece of cake and some ice cream. That's the occasion. I'm happy. So you haven't looked as happy since you know since since you since me. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Actually, what stinks, Buzz? Did you leave the pizza in the pizza uh, oven again? No, it's just uh, the door won't shut. It won't turn off. It won't turn off. I got this regulator thing coil, and I don't have a, no idea what the damn thing. Probably is. goes on the refrigerator. That would explain it. Yeah. Hey, hey. Natalia. You okay? Yeah. Just got a little sick. From the smoke. I think so, yeah. I mean, what else could it be? You think something bad? No. No? No. Well, you know, or maybe it is just the smoke. Or stress. Oh, telling Emma about us. My stomach has been in knots all day. Here you go. Thank Thanks. you. I want you to know that Natalia is the most amazing employee. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Do you think you'll be feeling well enough to come in this afternoon, though? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I am, I'm, I'm actually just going to stop at home first. I have some cookies and brownies to wrap up for the church. Father is going to help me pick them up, though. So as soon as I'm done with that, then, then I'll be right by. Don't you think that's Great. kind of overdoing it just no. a little bit? No, I, I really think it'll make me feel better, you know, get to the church. So. Okay. You know, thanks so much for helping out. This is awesome. Oh no, thank you for coming by here. I just I'm starting a new job, so I just have a ton of stuff to do. <clears throat> no problem. Hey, are you feeling okay? You look kind of pale. Yeah, yeah, no, you know what? I I'm just I think I'm just a little run down. No, I haven't been sleeping very well. Yeah. How's Rafe? He was, he was kind of upset the last time I saw him. Yeah, well, it was his birthday, and uh, he didn't really want to spend it with me. But, you know, he's living with Frank now, and I'm really grateful because I think it's really good for him. Maybe that's why you're not feeling well. Because my son doesn't want to live with me? No, because the reason he doesn't want to live with you. Please, please don't. Just stating the obvious. Your lifestyle choices are putting a conflict not only with your church, but with your son. If you're feeling sick, maybe it's the way that those choices are finally starting to get to you. Ashley, 
It's the wrong fork. Mom, stop it. We've been doing so well today. Well, just that I love you, okay? That's, I just want the best for you. Thanks. Could you come up with another excuse? You've been using that one my whole life. Hi. Oh, hey, Olivia. Be careful. Don't use the wrong fork. Actually, goodbye, Mother. Have a seat. Thanks. I'm sorry you had to hear that. I, uh... Ashley just asked me for a new reason why I'm so hard on her. Sure, no problem. I'll just tell her the truth, that I can't be myself around her because I have been lying to her my entire life. You know, I'm sorry. It's just not going to go away, Anatolia. Italian. Wait. You believe something, and I believe something completely different. Now, I just, I, I just don't believe that God is judging me because I love someone. Well, what about the problems that it's bringing in your life, starting with your son? Are you suggesting to me that I pretend that I don't have feelings for Olivia because it would make my life a little bit easier? My life would have been a lot easier if I gave Rafe up for adoption. Just because something's easier doesn't mean it's right. So no, Father Ray, the decisions that I've made, I feel, have made me a stronger person. So if I'm sick or if I'm a little run down, I don't believe it's because of the choices that I've made. I understand why you don't want to come out publicly because of your political position, but Ashley's, she's a grown-up, and she's your daughter. Why don't you try telling her? Exactly. She's my daughter. If she rejects me. What if she doesn't? You never tried telling her? No, I didn't say that. I did try, once. It was about ten years ago, maybe more, I don't know. And, uh, I don't know, it was when Hollywood was coming out, and there was a lot of publicity, and I thought it would be perfect. So I started the conversation, and I don't know, when it came time to say it, I just couldn't. I told myself that uh, she was too young, and that I should wait. And I've been telling myself that ever since. But aren't you afraid that she's going to find out from somebody else? Yeah. Only now it's worse. Now, I'm not just telling her that I like women, but I'm trying to justify that I've been lying to her all these years. Oh, yeah, that's why Natalia and I agree that we should tell Emma. And it's, it's scary, but I'm hoping that because Emma sees Natalia's family already, that it might help. Well, I certainly hope that you handle it better than I have. No, I never got to wish you happy birthday. How's the new job? I mean, don't do this, please. We're not friends, okay? I don't like you. All right, all right. You don't have to like me, but um, what you're doing to your mom, Rafe, it's it's wrong. No, no. What you're doing to my mother is wrong. You know, your mother, she's, she's uh, spent her entire life dedicated to you, taking care of you. I mean, you were in jail. She was so miserable. She had this calendar, and she would just mark off the days, every day that you were gone. And all she wanted to do was to spend your birthday with you, and you blew her off. So you can hate me all you want to, but maybe you need to grow up a little bit and put her ahead for once. Mm. Okay. First of all, almost everything I've ever done has been for my mother, okay? And what about the church, Olivia? All right, when I was a kid, she would drag me to, to Mass every single Sunday. Why? Because it was important to her, and now it's important to me. And so I'm worried about her, and you can call me immature if you want, but I'm worried about what's going to have to happen when she has to answer to God. Okay, so what's next? Well, uh, you were not feeling very well. Are you okay? Oh, I'm much better. I'm much, much better. Are you sure? I don't want to, I don't want to push I'm you. I'm fine. Okay, well then, let's, um, get to this press release, and... You know, I have to say, I usually can walk into a room and immediately spot who's together, and I didn't pick up on you two at all. You're really not going to tell anyone, right? No, 
No, I'm not. I said I wouldn't and I won't. It is very complicated, though, isn't it? But I like you. I do. And Olivia, I have never seen her so happy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I have to take this. <clears throat> Blake Marlin? Mm-hmm. Because you don't get to do that, Olivia. You don't get to pick and choose. You don't get to change the church just to fit your needs. That's selfish. Okay. Well, um, your mother stood by you when you were in juvenile hall. She stood by you when you were in prison, so you're going to have to figure out some way to get past this. What if I can't? Then I feel sorry for you. Would you rather spend your time judging your mom instead of loving her? I mean, honestly, your reaction... It almost split us up, but we realized that what we had is important to us. So I really should be thanking you, because in the end, you made us stronger. <laughs> I can't believe I'm having this conversation. Um, whatever. Hey, Philip, it's me. Listen, I need to talk to you about Emma. Actually, it's about all of us. Natalia? I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I just, sure? my stomach's still just a little, I don't know. Well, what, what are the other symptoms? Are you, are you hot? Do you have a fever? No, I'm just, I, I'm just a little tired and, and sick to my stomach and, and I've thrown up. Well, that's funny. Funny? <laughs> well, if, if I didn't know that you were together with Olivia, I'd probably say you were pregnant. Let me, let me get you some cold water. 